If we study the given differential equation carefully, we will see that it contains the function y, it contains its first derivative y prime, and then it also contains its second derivative y double prime. So we're going to need expressions for all three of those in order to proceed. Now, of course, the question gives us the function y right here. So let's write that down. We know y is equal to e to the power of rx. And in this case, r is just some unknown constant. We'll need the first and second derivatives as noted. So the first derivative would be y prime. And we might remember from a previous calculus course that to differentiate this equation, we would simply recopy it. So we would have e to the rx. And then we have to multiply by the derivative of the power. This is basically an application of the chain rule. Now the, the derivative of rx, of course, would just be r. So we'll basically just have a factor of r in the front of that expression. The second derivative is very similar. We'll recopy the function, so it will be r e to the rx, and then we'll multiply by the derivative of this power, and the derivative again of rx is r. Now we already have a factor of r in front, so if we multiply the original factor by another factor of r, we'll have r squared. So those are your first and second derivatives. We're going to substitute them into this differential equation. So for y double prime, we'll have r squared e to the rx, plus three times y prime. And of course, y prime was given right here as r e to the rx, and then minus 18 times y, and y was e to the rx. And this will be set equal to zero. And so for this first blank where it says try a solution of the form by substituting it into the differential equation, this would be the correct answer right here. We've substituted in the y, y prime, and y double prime. Now for part two, we have to simplify and factor this equation. They give us a little bit of a hint here. They say, be sure to divide out any factors that are guaranteed to be non-zero. So if we look carefully, we have a common factor of e to the rx. And we know that e to the rx can never equal zero. It's an exponential function that looks something like this. And it approaches a value of zero over here, but it never will actually equal zero. So we can take them up on their clue. We can divide out that common factor. So basically, if we divide out e to the rx, they're all going to cancel. And that's going to leave us with just r squared plus 3r minus 18 is equal to 0. And so this would be the correct answer to that second blank right here. And on to the third question, we need to find all values of r such that y equals e to the rx satisfies the differential equation. So basically, we're going to take this simplified version of the differential equation or simplified solution to it and solve for r. So that's just going to involve factoring. And that's a skill we've had for a long time now. So we just need two numbers that add to make three, but also multiply to make negative 18. So those numbers, of course, would be six and negative three. So we'll have r plus six times r minus three. We'll set each one of those equal to zero. And when we do that, we would see that r could either equal negative six or r could equal positive three. So these would be the answers to the third question.